All right, so I got a question on one of my previous videos where I talked about my experience working at Tesla. They wanted to know basically what the interview process was like. Now, it's been a little over a year since I actually did that interview. Um, I also no longer work at Tesla. I now work at Oracle NetSuite. So my memory is slightly fuzzy, but I'm going to do the best I can to kind of give you what happened and we'll kind of go from there. And if you have any questions, I will also try to clarify as best as I can. If you want to leave a comment, I'm happy to answer any comments. So essentially what happened and the reason I got a job is I was reached out by a recruiter and uh, basically I went through the interview process, which was uh, two parts, um, but they were squished together. So like with NetSuite, like which is my current job, I had uh, I had one like sort of like an introductory thing, like just a screening sort of interview. And then the second one was like an entire day long. Um, so it was like an eight hour interview, which sounds like a lot, but you're not here for that anyways. Uh, here for Tesla. So um, Tesla sort of similar. I had like a, uh, a screening thing, just like talking with a, uh, a guy. Uh, and that was just like in a parking lot, like on the phone kind of thing. And once I got the AOK -okay on that side, I proceeded to the second interview, which was maybe 10 minutes or less even. Um, and just kind of like went over the job position a little bit, asked me if I had any questions. And I just had asked him like one question and it was, it was pretty rapid. It was probably one of the most, probably one of the fastest interviews I've ever had. And right after that, we went into like a group session um, which was like online as well. And essentially what we did during that is, was to prove our competency. So like similar to, from what I understand, like what coders do or computer science majors, you have to like prove you can code or whatever. Um, that was, it was like that, but on a much lower level, obviously, because I wasn't doing anything involving coding, I guess just to prove that you can do the job, which is a fair thing to ask. Um, so you kind of do like a lower level scale version of my job, which was a data, annota data annotation specialist. Um, and you were timed on it. And basically you just have to do as much as you can in the time allotted. And then they go over your results and get back to you. Obviously I did well enough to where I got a job. There are probably like 40 people in total. I want to say like, 15 or 20 of us ended up coming into the, like that class of people that came in. So um, I'm, I'm not really sure what the statistics would be for any job or this was like, like I said, this is specifically for data annotation specialist. I don't know what goes on in like any other department at Tesla. Um, so your experience could vary widely. It could be vastly easier, it could be vastly harder. I really don't know. Um, but that's essentially what my interview experience was. If that does bring up any questions, please leave them down below. I will answer as best I can, uh, but it's nothing too crazy. That's pretty much what went down. And to the person who asked the question, I hope this answered your question pretty well. But thank you for watching. You have a good rest of your week, guys.